Hello, everybody. Welcome. Um, we are Marcia and Alejandra uh, from Buenos Aires, Argentina. We are guides at the ESMA Museum and Site for Memory. And today we are here to bring you a piece of the history of this place. So, uh, during the last dictatorship in Argentina, between the years 1976 and 1983, more than 700 clandestine detention, torture, and extermination centers were created by the regime for the persecution, disappearance, and annihilation of political opposers. Today, we estimate that around 30,000 people were taken to these places and are still missing. It is important to point out that the historical context in which these events occurred was that of the Cold War. So in those years, many countries in Latin America lived a similar process of military regime and political persecution. Argentina wasn't unique in that matter, but it was one of the most violent and repressive of them all. In fact, the repressive efforts of the different regimes were coordinated in what was later known as the Condor Operation. Originally built as the Naval Mechanics School, ESMA was one of the biggest of these facilities and held up to 5,000 prisoners during those years. Today, about 250 of those people survived and provided testimony in the justice about what has happened in this place. The nucleus of the detention center was set in the building of the officers' quarters, and while it was operating, it was still being used by the Navy officers as a place uh, for resting and housing. The disappeared people that were prisoners at ESMA were usually political and social activists, workers, students, artists, religious personnel, and members of armed and unarmed revolutionary organizations. Once they were abducted and taken to the detention center, they were commonly submitted to torture interrogations, then held in captivity in unhuman conditions for an uncertain period of time, and finally, they were physically disappeared. Most of them were killed in what was later known as uh, death, death flights that implied being thrown alive to the sea from flying planes. Here also, up to 36 pregnant women were abducted and many of them gave birth in captivity. Most of those women are still disappeared and most of the children born in the detention center we are, later, we are later stolen or, uh, to their biological families by members of the armed forces. Those are the living disappear that we are still looking for. Today, it's proven that a systematic plan for the disappearance of people and stealing of their babies took place in ESMA and other detention centers along Argentina. In the entire country, more than 500 children were stolen from their biological families and today 130 of them have been found thanks to the search of the human rights organization, especially grandmothers of Plaza de Mayo. Nowadays, the building is a historical monument and judicial evidence in the trials for crimes against humanity. The museum was created in 2015 and hosts an exhibition based mainly on the testimonies that the survivors provided in the 1985 trial to the military juntas and also the oral trials that have been carried out in the country since 2006. Also, we know what happened here thanks to the tireless work of human rights organizations and the declassification of state documents. The armed forces did not speak up. That means that they are still maintaining a silence back about what happened in these places. Today, 44 years after the civic military coup started, the perpetrators of ESMA and those responsible for state terrorism throughout the country are still being tried. These trials, which represent a conquest of the struggle of human rights organizations, today are state policy. That is an example throughout the world. Here, crimes against humanity committed by the Argentinian state are being judged in ordinary courts and with the criminal code, without the need to appeal to international or special courts. Today, a work plan is being executed with the purpose of meeting the, te the technical, social, diplomatic, and political requirements needed to obtain the nomination of the ESMA Museum and Site of Memory 
to the UNESCO World Heritage List as a symbol of all sites of memories in Argentina. The nomination seeks to raise international awareness on the crimes against humanity perpetrated by the civic military dictatorship in Argentina between 1976 and 1983 as well as on the exemplary path of justice achieved by our democracy thanks to the struggle led by human rights organizations. So this was a brief introduction to the museum that we work in. Uh, we hope that this information is useful for you all and that in the future you can come to Argentina to visit the museum yourselves and learn a little bit more about our history. Thank you very much for uh, hearing to us.